سونیا جی حسن جی غری خان جی فرنس it's honor for me to speak to you today i'll start uh, i think where uh, karan singh ji left off karan singh ji said um, that pandit ji was a guru and i think you meant it in uh, the traditional sense uh, some years back we had this conference the gandhi conference and a number of leaders from african countries uh, had come and one of them walked up to me and he said well young man i want to speak to you so i said yes tell me what what would you like to say he says i am i don't remember the country it was but he says i'm the vice president of uh, one of the african countries and uh, tomorrow morning i want you to meet some of my friends so i said okay so next morning uh, he came with four five of his friends and one of them was vice president one of them was finance minister one of them all very very senior people in african countries and then they said now i would like you to tell me what is common between all of us so i said well you all from african countries uh, and they said no uh, what is common between all of us is that we all studied in india and every single one of us used to have breakfast with your great grandfather and he taught us politics and that is why we are where we are today so i was quite amazed by his ability to reach out and touch people these were not special students they were not students who were famous they were just students african students studying in india and he just came and gave them a little bit of gyan and there was a tremendous impact i think when we look at uh, nehru ji we tend to and i do it but we tend to think about him in terms of his ideas secularism democracy um, i think that's that's a very important way to look at him but there's another way to look at him which is that he was on one hand political awareness so he had the ability to go very very deep into the politics of this country on the other hand he was historical awareness so he could go very very deep into the history but not get trapped by the history not get caught up by the history like many of our friends uh and whichever ideas he used and operated with he was always able to see them for what they really were he was able to adapt and he was able to move forward there was no fossilization that was taking place at all you know i meet many young people and they have very very set ideas they know exactly what they want to do they know exactly what is going to happen they understand india they understand everything i think uh, mahatma gandhi ji and jawaharlal ji uh, would never claim to understand india they might claim that i am attempting to understand india they might claim that i am trying to understand india but i don't think they ever had the arrogance to think that they understand it and they have all the answers and i think that is a very very powerful thing that they didn't they didn't actually believe that they have got it there was no final milestone it was a journey uh, and if you read both their uh, their writings you will get this distinct sense that for them india was much bigger uh, than they could ever be india was much more uh, intelligent powerful understanding compassionate than they could ever be and i think both those leaders who i admire the central if you take the central thread the central th thread is compassion that whatever they did whether it was whatever they spoke about whether it was secularism democracy uh, non alignment it was always about respect for people listening to people understanding people and never riding rough shot over anybody and i think that uh, is a very very great lesson uh, that they teach us i'd like to thank uh, the the speakers and all our friends congress president for coming here today all the best thank you